Hi everyone, uh, Mikey Bly back with A Place of Forbidden today, and uh, we're in some kind of oopy goopy, drippy, gutty, uh, bloody, horrible place at the moment. But there's still computers, so that's good. As long as I can still get on the internet, I'm fine. As long as I can still, you know, as long as I can still, 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 still do that kind of, kind of stuff. I guess I'm fine being covered in viscera. Uh, I, I don't know what the heck this game is going to throw at us next. But the only way to find out, as always, is to push on. So let's um, uh, push on, shall we? Oh, look, I can still turn the lights on and off. Ugh. 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 I guess. Yeah. God, I'm finally back where I entered. Time to get the hell out of here. I don't think so. I really don't think so. Is there still some books to read? We don't read anything? Oh, look, it's another key. Ha, ah, yay. I feel so uncomfortable right now. I'm not done. If you thought I was done, I'm not done. I wasn't done messing about with stuff and reading books and stuff. Really nothing? Nothing else to read? Are you, are you serious? I'm not gonna throw one last little, one last little screw you at me. I mean, the the last screw you is gonna be me dying, obviously. But okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, okay, I'm outies. No. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> they open. You're finally here. Certainly kept the suspense going on. Stay in your right, my pet. We shall be with you shortly, and once we're there, we'll take uh. your form into something more palatable. Oh, stairs. More arms, we think. More arms. More legs. The eyes out. Right I'm sorry, I didn't listen. I fell off the edge. Oh! Oh, right. Oh. So if you fall, you just come back here. Okay, good. Cool. That's cool. Just not even a reaction at this point. What are these horrible things? I don't know. They look like Jello cubes with brains and eyeballs in them. Oh, where did all the books go? You could have at least given me a little bit of reading material before annihilating me, you know? There's got to be one thing somewhere. I don't like the sound of that much. Can I land on something if I fall the right way here? Uh, fuck. Gotta be... Wait, did this drop me off in a different place? Did it? Oh, this is different. Why is it different? What the hell? Looks like something goes here. Uh, I need items. Don't really say anything about needing items. Well, isn't this place a wreck? If I lived someplace as disorganized as here, I'd think it'd just be a matter of time before I was swallowed up by all the trash. I like the staircases, though. They're a nice touch. Yeah, very Escher. You're probably wondering what needs to be done here. I think deep down you already know. Since you're so inclined to play dumb, though, I'll give you a hint. It'd be a lot easier if you could get around here, if you could organize everything somehow. That's it. That's my hint. Organize everything somehow. 
Wow. What a unique piece of advice that is. I can't even get up there. Okay. Do I have to... I guess... Do I have to fall down the right... This is the first time it's had me a little bit stumped, actually. Fell down there, and I just came right back here. So... What happens if I fall down this one? Oh. Oh. Um. Uh. I don't know. This is not my favourite room. Nope. Definitely not. Can I read this? Oh. If this place were a mind, it would not be pure. The answer to the path ahead is embedded in a column of red flesh. Uh. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at the columns of red flesh, but there ain't nothing. I can't exactly do anything about them. Uh, there's something lodged in something somewhere? I am suddenly so confused. I'm confused, I'm confused. This is the first time the game's actually got me, like, stumped as to what to do. Oh. Oh, well, I haven't been here yet. Um, I won't stand on you. I don't want to squish your eye. The, th the third? The fourth? What? Joy of the Recluse. Oh. Of his five fingers, he lost two. Only three remained. Without the first, he would have been an animal. Thumb. Thumb. Without the second, he could no longer condemn. Would that be the pointy finger? Without his final remaining finger, his hand would look a little strange. A little strange. That's not the best of clues. All right, what's this? The fifth. Oh. Got a five. Oh, god damn. Yeah, you little bastard. This is what things look like. Here, anyway. I spent a lot of time in this hellhole, and I'd be willing to bet if you dug up the floorboards everywhere, this is what you'd find. Eyes, pulsating flesh, red guts, blood. That's what I think. I think this is all there is. A place like this, without cease. Couldn't exist on its own. An empty nothingness. No, if it's going to make up all this space, if it's going to contain so much knowledge, is it so far-fetched that something might have changed in it to make up? That it might have come alive? Forget it. I can see you already have your own beliefs. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm wrong. Doesn't goddamn matter. All right, Tetchy. This room is a trap. Must be. Those tables with the notes weren't here until earlier. Can't say when, but I think they came for you. Serves you right. I know you're kind. But if it let you get the hell out of my room, well, it's a test too. Christ, I can still see you slacked your expression. Fine. I'll give you not one, but two whole hits. Even a damn fool like you should be able to use them. The librarian would like to give you a hand. The flesh in that safe does not operate like its predecessor. All right. Oh, I've got a cabinet. Oh, that goes on the desk of items. So, I think that's all of the tablets. A 
Okay, so I think you. The way these things wriggle, it's almost as if something is alive within. I think something is. Um. So I only have to put three in. So wait, what? Oh, first try. Whoa, I know more than the others, but I won't tell you. He spent too much time alone, thinking, and that accelerated his downfall. A terrible thing befell that woman he claimed to have loved. It consumed him. It consumed his every waking moment, whether or not he had been loved back. The depression lost him his job and his home turning a sad wreck of a human being into a sadder, hollower thing. His focus, his obsession, never strayed. She was gone from his life, and as far as he was concerned, that was all that mattered. Even when a family member took him in and sheltered him, he all but ignored them. So enwrapped with himself was he. Is this the librarian? Is this the original, orig origin, origin of the librarian? Okay, well, we've also got one of the items we need. And let's never come to this place again, please. Can I go around here? Mm, yeah, not really, huh? Gonna crouch. Oh, I can, I can, I can. Should I? Oh. Ah, okay, fine. Back through the doors we go, we've got one of the items. Um. Whoa! Oh, hello. Hello, it's gone a bit different, near. It's gone a wee bit different. It has. Can't say I appreciate it either. Okay, that's the hole that should probably take us back to the fleshy place. Um. Is there a different hole we can go in now then? Because, like I say, it's changed. Oh, it... Wait, there was four of those. There's only three now. Oh, this place is giving me the bloody heebie-jeebies. Oh, hello. Oh, those eyes aren't suspicious at all, good sir. Not at all. Okay, let's try go down here again. Because this just brought us straight back before, but maybe not this time. Oh, right. This time. Oh, 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 oh. oh grabby hands. Oh. Wait, there's got to be a... There uh, we go. Let's not just dive straight in here, shall we? Don't listen to them, if you can help it. You and me, we're birds of a feather, I can tell. Better to pull the covers over your head and cover your ears, in case you hear something you don't want to. Sit down and let the inevitable wash over you. I'd take this fit to turn into one of those husks. <sighs> Gives me shivers. But if you're really hell bent on repelling the lion's gullet, and don't say I didn't warn you, I guess you need all the help you can get. Here's what I have to say. Listen carefully. All right. There's a roll deck there. Can harm. Stop thinking. What? Okay, wait a second. I need to listen to these again, and then put them. And then I have to pick the phones up in in the right order. I think. Okay. Now I'm guessing some smarty pants people out there might have already figured that out. Um, from the first time I went through them. 
Everything is fine. Nothing can harm you. Just stop thinking. So I think the order is three. Everything is. Then two. Fine. Nothing. Then four. Can harm. And then one. Five. Stop thinking. Bwah. Play dumb all you like. The librarian already knows your body inside and out. He spent all of his time searching, and eventually he found his goal. There are places, even in the digital world, where things not meant for mortal eyes lurk. He caught only the slightest glimpse of one such place, and it was enough. The eyes of the librarian were upon him. From that point forward, what happened was destined to happen. And worst of all, he would never find the knowledge he sought. Maybe it's better that way. Okay. We also got, I think Roldex is one of the other items we, ah. Oh. Man, it's looking beautiful in here. I love what you've done with the place, man. Okay, we did the fawns. That's the one we just did. Getting closer. I'm not going to talk about the fact that there's less now. Ooh, I could just be my flashlight. I think it's still on. Yeah, I don't think I need it on now. It's not, it's not too dark. Um, now then, let me think. Which ones have we done and not done? I keep forgetting. Alright, yeah, the ladders. This is where we bring the items at the end of the day, right? So, roll decks. Cabinet. And there's only one more thing left to get. So we'll come back down here after. This game... I, it's so much more, like, deeper than I expected it to be. Ooh. Fun. Wait, the chess pieces. Wait, I don't think we've done this one, have we? The one that's been right in front of me most of the time, I don't think we've done this one. No, we didn't. We didn't do this one yet, because... Didn't look like there was a puzzle here, but I guess there is. Do we have to somehow... Wait. The answer to the path ahead is embedded in a column of red flesh. Oh! Oh! Key! But does it open... I didn't know there was a locked door in here, though. Well, that's confusing. Oh, uh... Aha. I thought both these doors were already open. No. Damn it. Oh, the, here. There we go. I kept... I just wasn't trying the, the right door. Oh, hello. Chess. What the... Ow. Oh, the chess board. Oh, you flipped me upside down. I mean, you flipped me right way up, I guess? Oh, okay. Ooh. Lovely. Oh, great. Oh, you again. Oh, blah, blah. Okay. The fucking here somewhere. Something to read. Get off the chair. What are you doing? Stop climbing all over the place, you bloody rebel. Nothing legible here. Spinny, spinny. Uh, oh, a card holder. Is that what goes in the last slot? Oh, same. Okay, if this place were mine, it would not be pure. It seems pure, but there are cracks. 
memories of others' misdeeds of evil committed. There are recurring themes in each memory, and one that is alone. The numbers will open your path back. What? Oh, wait, but I... Oh, wait a second. The numbers? Wait. Ah. Uh, okay, let's read this book again. Wait, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where did it go? It says... Recurring themes in each memory are one that is alone. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So the blocks, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, that's eight. Eight, four. Uh, eight, four, three. Ooh, eight, four, three, one. Eight, four, three, one. Ah, yeah! You little shit. Like you hadn't done enough already. Now I'm trapped here. Damn to repeat this shit like I'm a goddamn tape recorder. If you had an ounce of remorse, you'd dash your brains out on the nearest wall. He was never much good at forming connections with people. And this time wasn't any different. That woman who walked into his life spent a night and a half with him and recognised him for what he was. An empty, half-formed piece of sentient scum. Naturally, he took eons more from their brief tryst than she ever intended. Spent days upon days picking their every second together apart, thinking about what he could have done differently. Not once did he even consider what he should have known in the first place, that there just wasn't anything to him. He wasn't person enough for himself, let alone another. I like the way this person who's explaining the character of the librarian to me it's getting more and more agitated that I still haven't just quit yet. Okay. Man, this has got super odd. Holy heck. Um, which? Only one left. Um, I'm trying to remember. Can I just walk over here? I should be able to... Oh my god, this is wrong, isn't it? This is all kinds of wrong. Where was... How do we get to the... Um... Was this it? This looks like it. I think. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh... Yes. This is it. Oh man, that is, whoa, this game just gets... Uh, I knew you'd come. Very well, I'll speak. He was always inclined towards solitude. Not that he had any choice in the matter. In fact, if he had, perhaps solitude would not have been his lot. But he was terrible with words, worse with speaking. It wasn't so much a matter of laughter at his expense, he was merely a curiosity. An ingrown, strange thing. Vaguely uncomfortable, but otherwise without no. There was one exception to this lonely existence. As he aged, he found himself in the position of an archivist, surrounded only by dust, dead things, dead words. Though he'd grown used to the solitude, he hated it with a burning, quiet passion. Thus, when a graduate student about his age came to plumb the dry and dead things, he forced himself to strike up conversation with her. To his delight, she returned his words, and for the first time in ages, he felt his heart beat a little faster. So did the guy who originally created this Ouroboros library do it because he was bloody ditched by somebody? Is that really what it comes down to? I find that difficult to comprehend. how my word.
Uh... Red lights don't scare me. Oh, are we going down? Is this one big, huge elevator disguised as a room? He was aware enough to be jealous. Though she rebuked his advances, though she suggested the two of them would never see each other again, it was, of course, not enough for him. He would come by daily, nightly. When she locked the door, he would continue to bang on it. When she called the police, he still found ways to watch from afar. Sounds like a champ, doesn't he? Until one night, that is, when he watched an unknown foreign ship enter her aboard. Though he could barely, only barely make the silhouette out, he could tell it was a man, and that was enough to send him into a rage. The authorities arrived too late on the scene to save anyone, though the fire was contained. The victims died of smoke inhalation. Somehow, they hadn't been able to open the front door. The screwdriver keeping it jammed was no longer at the scene of the crime, of course. Oh, what a fucking horrible human being! Yes, I'm talking about you, I think. I don't even know anymore at this point. Uh, I'm, I'm not in control of my legs. When I next opened my eyes, I found myself on an empty road in a desolate place. There was a faint ephemeral quality to everything. It didn't fill me with confidence. In the back of my head, I felt a thought burn, like a fallen ember from the end of a cigarette. Was I free? Or was I still trapped within the library's vast expanse? Probably the second one. And how could I tell? Even if I arrived, ho arrived home and everything was as it had been, how could I know if the librarian's voice wouldn't be just on the other side of every door, of every window, from now on, or forever? I guess it doesn't matter either way. At the end of everything, I never found what I'd come to the library to gain. For the rest of my life, I think, I'd find myself wondering just what it was I'd missed. Perhaps the failure was a blessing, empty as I find myself left. Perhaps there was something even worse waiting for me, if only I'd looked a little deeper. Am I in? No. But I doubt it. Oh my god! That was so good! I was not expecting such an in-depth game. This was such a treat! It was so well put together. And it was just the, the, the turret that just kept weighing down on you from every angle. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was so good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know how to put that into words. Um, it was so well done, and the puzzles were great. The story was great. The, uh, everything was so good. Oh, man, I highly recommend giving this a play through yourselves if you really want to have the, the experience of it. Um, the link is in the description below. Definitely give this a try and give this give this team a whole bunch of adoration because wow, really, really well done. Um, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed my the end of my playthrough of this. Um, and uh, wow, don't forget to ring the notification bell too if you want to keep up to date with all of my videos as and when they go up. <sighs> wow. Um, uh, if you have any other game recommendations for me or just want to have a bit of a general chit chat then have it in the comments below or catch me on the social medias uh, <laughs> I have been Mikey Bly mind blown uh, and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning afternoon evening or night and I'll see you all next time around bye for now